Welcome back to Estancia Lapacho in Southern America. Here we are back on the farm. This is Farming Simulator 17. I haven't played Farming Simulator since 2015, which was the Farming Simulator 2015 that came out in 2014 because simulator developers can't count. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Look at that. You can definitely tell it is Southern America. The flat, open plains. The nice, well, not rolling hills. The endless plains. It's just incredible. Anyway, I've been at work on this farm, trying to get it up and running. I put about a couple of hours into it, maybe three, four. Um, let's get into our what I assume is a Chevy. Uh, there's a lizard pickup rodeo, actually. Turn her on. Uh, get the cab, and we can drive down our magnificent driveway to our. Amazing house. Here it is. There's a silos over there, but look at this. Look at the luxury we live in. Beautiful. Uh, okay, I'll show you what I have been doing. So, I have, uh, well, not me personally, but I have ensured that the sugarcane is all planted. That took ages, a very long time, uh, ridiculously long time, and ridiculous amount of money spent on paying wages. Uh, what else have we got here? We have, ah yes, I cultivated this, ready for planting. Uh, bear with me for a second. There we go. Look at that. Yes, cultivated, ready for seeding of our choice. And here I have planted, just finished actually, uh, finished up sowing, seeding, whatever you prefer, some soybeans. Since soybeans are selling for the highest amount at the harbour which is just over there uh, so yeah uh, hopefully that will yield a lot and we can actually start affording some equipment uh, I don't know how much money we started with but we've got 25,000 now after selling two whole bits of uh, two whole loads, trailer loads of our ooh, bit of a tailspin there. Um, silos. I had to sell soy beans and wheat from our silos um, to keep it funded. Uh, here is our equipment. Let me give you a tour. We've got two, tr three tractors. that have been at hard at work. We got Messy Ferguson case and another brand that I don't know that came with the DLC over here. What? Uh, it's, uh, I have no idea. I don't, I'm not familiar with that brand. There is going to be our sugarcane cutter when it does eventually grow. Got some seeds here for the next half, um, planting. But what I want to do today, these are our dirty equipment as well. Filthy. Um, I had to use all of our seeding here and one fertilizer bag. I had to refill fertilizer of the sugar canes and the seeding actually because it ran out. Um, what we're going to do today, I want to, if we can, possibly, I'm not sure if you can mow this. Let's have a look on the map. Maybe I want to bail something. Uh, I'm not sure. Grass. 
I think we can mow all this, yeah. We can definitely mow all the grass. It makes sense. So I want to... Oh, I'll just turn this off. I want to have a look at the mowing technology. Um, and I will decide what would be the best to buy. We might have to get a loan for this. Alright, we're back. I have uh, found some equipment and leased it. Um, it costs 6000 So not too bad. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, mow this field. Then use the wind rower to row it up. So then we can come along with the baler. And hopefully make some good bales out of it and hopefully sell it. Uh, we should be able to do it in this field plus surroundings as well because we own all this land so I don't see why not anyway we're gonna have to go pick it up in the most powerful track that we have uh, which is the case uh, which is on the other side so let's go here let's park up here okay here we go oh god that is money I need to buy a uh, uh, power washer as well because this thing is filthy I mean look at it Alrighty. Uh, let's turn the lights on, and we're going to the store, which I haven't been to the store in a long time. Um, it is ah oh, out, oh, and then it would be to our left. Tag it. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what was that yellow. Ah, oh, it's all our stuff. Okay, cool. Got it! So I haven't played this in a while, so I don't know my way around it, but the reason I am playing it is because on the horizon is Farming Sim 22. Which is pretty crazy to think that I started playing oh, all the way back in 2011 with Farming Simulator 11, and gosh, it's come a long way. I remember getting, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, 15. I skipped out on 13, 13, so I, I just didn't get it, but I got, ah, oh, it brings back so many movies, Farming Simulator 2011, that was good times back then, although the graphics were rubbish and it was pretty, pretty bad, I mean, it's just nostalgia, I guess, and, and Giants as well, they made a ski region simulator, oh, I played that for hours on end, gosh, I just love that game. It's just basically like farming, but you know, you're going up and down a mountain in a piston bully. Just grooming the slopes. But yeah, Farming Simulator 22 is on the horizon. I haven't, yeah, I haven't got 7, uh, 19, sorry. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see because I think 19 was a graphical upgrade from 17, which is this. So. I haven't got the upgrades of 19. So I, I, if you got 19, I don't know if it was worth the upgrade because the graphic engine will probably be the same. But from 17, I would say that it's alright. Alright, we might need to make multiple trips, but uh. Okay, realism. Oh, look at this. You can drive right in. Get the floor all muddy. That's pretty cool. Destroying their carpet, love it. Thanks, guys. Um, so I got Baylor, New Holland, the uh, wind rower, and the mower. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to. I'm hoping at least this works. Hopefully, it has the right connection. I have. No idea. This would be embarrassing, really. Oh, no, it's not the right. I'm one. I'm wondering if I have to reverse up to it. That would make sense, it's just because everything else was aligned. So you have to back up to it, so I thought it's the front, but that makes sense. Alright. Ah, oh, well, at least I hope, anyway. That is not lined up properly, so... 
Yep. Just give it a little. Oh, thank goodness. It is. All right. I'm gonna head back with this, and I'll come back and get the rest. Oh, that's a nice convertible. It's nice. But yeah, I'll see you back at the farm when I've got all this stuff here. We can begin some mowing. All right. Here we are, back at the farm. Just bringing the baler in now. It's pretty cool. I only paid around 4000 for it, uh, at least that is, plus 800 per day. Um, so, will we be using this last? So, I'll just chuck it over here. Uh, UT, there we go. Alright. Now we'll. Uh, be connecting up. I overshot that. There you go. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this field, and there's a whole grass section over there by the road. I uh, wonder if it will show. There it is. Um, so yeah, this field here. Uh, I'm not sure if we own that, but there's a lot. Surely we should be able to. Uh, there is grass there. All right. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll just see. You know, no, no. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. I don't know the controls because I've never. Oh, I haven't. Can even connect it. Okay. Right. So we want. Oh, is it? It's already. Oh, we can unfold it. Oh, just a little bit. That's all right. We're only a little mower. We've only got a little bit. It's not like we've got acres and acres upon acres to do. Uh, I guess we don't want to lift it, we want to lower it. And maybe we have to do something else. Ah, there we go, we have to attach this, which is probably the power. Makes sense. This is this this is the its power. Okay. Um, turn on mower. Oh. Oh, we are mowing. We are mowing indeed. He 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 he. We mow over this bush. No. So I guess now we just go up and down. Until, uh, yeah, I'll do a few more runs. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. This is, this is, this is pretty cool. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go around like this. Instead of having to, you know, do the old cultivator, you know, lift it up. Turn it around, do a three-point turn and all that. It's pretty cool. So I think we are actually spitting out uh, stuff at the back that we can then row up. At least I hope. Because otherwise this is pretty pointless. So I'm just going to do this field at the moment because this is quite a lot of grass. Uh, yeah, we'll go... We don't really want to do it on the side of the hill. Yet. Uh, normally, I think that the tractor would have like an arm the control that goes like diagonal. Yeah. There we go. This is pretty cool. I've never done this. This is pretty sick. So yeah, we got two rows here now. So we want the baler that wants to get as much grass as possible. So what the wind rower does is that it turns these two rows into one big one and then this sort of makes it easier for the you to just go over it with the baler instead of having to go up and down all these little ones. It's the general gist of it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff if you learn about it, if you want to learn about that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think what I'll do now is just like kind of time lapse of me going around and around. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Um, and then after that we'll do some rowing. Cool.
out just on the last bit. There we go. Got a few more little bits to get around the place. Um, but yeah, that didn't take too long. It's quite a, uh, it's a medium field, I would say. Uh, go. That'll do. Now we can head back. Here, drop this off, and now we can begin the process of the rowing. Alright. Disconnect the power, and then uh, I'll wait to lower it. Yep. There we go. Now let's get the wind rower on. Um, to approach this, how are we going to approach this? This doesn't need power, I do not believe. Nope. Oh, it does actually. Uh, I guess that makes sense because it needs to spin this. So what? Well, the, these fold down. Oh, I'll fold it down and explain to my limited knowledge how this works. Um, unfold it. Okay. So. So yeah. Um, I guess what it does is uh, all the grass and the two rows here, they come in here and over here, and it all like around the circle whoosh, comes across here, hits this, all gets piled up along here, so it's just a long, one long, huge pile. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory to be honest. Logically, if you look at it, you can see all that's what it does. Uh, let's see if I was right. Or if I'm just t talking complete nonsense. Um, pretty sure that's all we need to do. Uh, lift it, turn it on. Okay. Uh, we'll start here where these two rows are. Hopefully these rows aren't too far enough apart. Uh, let's turn it on, which was B, I think. There we go. There we go, look at that. Just putting it into one big pile. Um, I am missing quite a lot of it though. This requires a bit more turning around than the, uh, the old mower did. So we've done that side now. Oh, uh, turn on, why isn't it turned on? So I just have to really just keep it, um, how did it turn? keep it here. So there we go. There we go. Is that gonna work? Uh, it's kind of working. I mean, it was like the cheapest bare bones one, so I don't expect it to work wonders, but it'd just be nice, just for convenience. I think it's, it's pretty much doing all the work, I think. I mean, not well, I think the, the rows are a bit far apart, but you get the general gist of it, what it's doing. Pretty self-explanatory, really. I'm not sure if there was a setting on the mower to change it so the rows not be so big, but that's working. I'm wondering if it would be better Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll work it out. So I definitely want to make sure I get the row that this is picking up. So I want to more be like favorable to this row here. Because this row's already here. Maybe, maybe I drive here. I'm not sure if that's going to do any better. But at this time, at this point in time, this is what it's doing. I mean, yeah, that works. It doesn't look pretty, but no one ever said it had to. So I guess I'll just keep continuing doing this around and around. Um, it's probably be pretty awkward, but as you can see, with the cornering is a bit, yeah. But hopefully we'll be able to get it done. 
I'll just keep doing this now and then we'll be able to hopefully use the baler provided I've got the right one and the grass is the right type. like a Picasso painting, not very neat, not very tidy, but you know I grouped them all together as best I could. I think that's reasonable for the first time and with this kind of um, wind rower. I'm not sure if it's the best, but if we have to do extra laps in the baler then so be it. That is what we uh, have made for ourselves. Um, maybe should have uh, leased the better Wind's row. Anyway, let's drop this off. Right, by the mower. Uh, yeah, uh, hang on. There we go. Okay. Baylor. This is what we've been waiting for. Now this one definitely requires power. So we attach it. Oh, I don't want to get crushed, so I'm going to run over here. And then, there we go. So yeah, this machine is very, it's like a it's wizardry. It's witchcraft how it works, so grass goes in, I guess they uh, rolls up into a ball, well, you know, cylinder, and then it rolls out the back when it's full. That's how it works, I don't know anymore. Let's start here, uh, at my very crooked row, uh, yeah, so let's unfold it, uh, and I guess that's all we have to do, lower it, yep, okay, so yep, that scoops up the grass and we turn it on. There you go, some moving parts for you, nice, alright see what she can do. Uh, it is filling up, you can see in the is it right hand corner, you can see it's filling up, oh wow it does fill up pretty, pretty quickly, that's probably because we've got two and one with the, doing the wind rowing. Now this is just a single lane that I didn't get with the wind rower, see if it goes up any faster. Ah, oh, a lot slower than the double lane. I'll we'll turn it off and raise it up while we just turn around. Oh, okay, good. No damage there. No one saw that. Especially not the leasing agent. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's going up. It's flying up. Oh, uh, that is the siren for, I guess it's nearly full, 70% full. There we go. And that siren is pretty annoying, to be honest. Maybe it means we're going too fast? Oh, we probably have to slow right down when it... 97, 98, 99. Do we have to do anything? Unload baler. Nice, look at that. Beauty. Alright, let's continue. It's one. I reckon we'll get. Mm, four? I reckon we'll get four. 
I don't see why not. It's quite a lot. Quite a lot of grass, and we've still got heaps of grass around that where those uh, palm trees are in that field over there. We can do that at a later date, though. I want to get these sold so we can actually make some money to, you know, so we can survive until the two fields of sugarcane and uh, what was it? Something soybeans have grown and they're gonna yield us a lot of money I'm hoping otherwise we're bust <laughs> basically uh, I might have been a bit too optimistic with my prediction with four bales we'll see we'll see though you know, always look on the bright side and the grass grows back pretty pretty fast. There's another one. Here's the insides of the machine. Uh, go forward a bit and close it down. Cool. Uh, why didn't it pick up that? There we go, now it is. Sucking it out like a vacuum. There we go. So we got two. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe four. To be honest, it's ten thirty, basically in the morning. Ten thirty on the first day. So yeah, I've played this for. I started the game started at six a.m. So I've been four hours, four and a half hours. I've been playing in real time because I've had it on the one speed the real-time speed the whole time and 98 100 have to watch out for that I mean I guess it's good that the siren starts at 70% because it actually does not take a long time to get from 70 to 100 when you've got this amount of hay I mean cut grass I should say it's not hay yet and I won't turn into hay Sold. Providing I can find a buyer who's willing to pay a lot. So there's number three. Should be able to get a fourth. There we go. Uh, oh, we'll go back. That's nice. Nicely done. Yeah, I'll, I'll have little bits left over around the farm but you know you can't really really botching this up you can't get all of them you can't win them all there we go. perfect yep 70 percent i think this is one of the rows that i didn't get with the wind rower this is going up quite slowly and it's quite small Ninety-nine. There we go. Perfect. There's our fourth. Will we get a fifth? Well, I'll make it. I'll make it so we do. I'll go around and get every little scoop that I can. Yeah, I didn't realize how definition it depends on your definition of fun but for me this is pretty fun I don't know how fun you know mowing grass and baling could be everyone always talks about farming as you know sowing fertilizing cultivating all that kind of stuff but this this is pretty good lots of cool equipment for this as well you know wind rower but you didn't know that existed before before farming sim or world ever. It's very specialized, that's all I can say. As a lot of farming gear is, I guess, it's only really relevant if you that type of farmer, if you are a grass farmer, or whatever. 
Alright, well, it looks like we might get one fifth bale, and that might be it. And we'll just leave whatever percentage is left in this baler for next time. It's the fifth and final. Because there's no way we're gonna get sick. So yeah, I was wrong, but I was closer than not. I guessed four. We got five. Five and a bit. Five and a half bales. Uh, this grass will probably regrow before the next time. We need to bale. So I'm, I'm betting on these bales paying off for the least equipment. And the uh, helper work that I had to hire to cultivate the fields and plant them. So I wasn't sitting through, you know, five hours of just solid up and down a field of planting sugarcane seeds, because that is not desirable. Okay, it's about, yeah, about four and a half. I'm sure if we got every single little bit here, we could get a six. Maybe. But I'm not going to do that. Um, we're going to decide what we need to do now. Uh, leave this here. If it rains, then it will be destroyed, but oh well. Uh, there we go. Squeeze part here. Cool. Just turn this off for a moment, and I will look. Because what we need to do is get a trailer, um, and so we can. Unless I use a pickup for every single one. Uh, let's see. Are they heavy? I'm guessing they're too heavy to lift. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna need. Mmm. I'm going to need. <clears throat> Where would you buy it? Um, a bale spike. I could just buy that, literally. Um, I'll ba buy. I'll buy a bale spike and a. I can just use this trailer. Um, now nah, that might be a bit small. Um, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll go and buy them now. I'll go head over to the shop. I'll put on the front loader arm so I can attach the bale spike to it and I'll come back with the trailer that is suitable for all those six, five bales, sorry. Alright, here we are. Got out, oh, will we be able to pull that? That's a bit long, I didn't realise how long it was. Well, I'll soon find out, uh, but here's our bale spike. To get into perfect position. Uh, let's see. Perfecto. Alright, let's just raise this up and make sure we don't stab anyone. We'll put it there. It's quite a long bail trailer. I did not realize. Ooh, he's muddy. I'm doing some off roading. Yes, we can, um, but I accidentally uh, attached that at the same time. Silly, silly me. Uh, is that, uh, oh, this is a problem now. Is it? One. Ah, no. Yeah, it's just, um, it's just the physics engine playing up a bit. Alright, we'll put it there. Alright. Cool. Now we can head back now. Perfect. All ready to bail and collect. Okay, here we are. Back at the farm. Uh, just going to decide where to put this trailer. Probably right. Here seems to be in the middle of them. There we go. Uh, just attach it. Go and find a bale put on. Here we go. 
Yeah, well, this one looks alright. We'll do this one first. We'll work from uh, right to left. There we go. And I'm just going to skewer it. As you can see, it's very pointy. So, let's just ram it right in. A bit lower. We want to get straight. And bam! Ooh. I am a bit uh, front heavy now. I might. Oh, I just threw it like a baseball. Uh, might need to go and get a back weight so that I am not front heavy. Or oh, almost poke a hole into the brickwork. Uh, hang about. Bear with. We're just going to put on this weight. And hopefully that will correct our, how our front heavy we are go and we'll lift it up and let's get back out there we've got bales to collect um, now lower this controls a bit awkward uh, ram this one skewer it uh, lift it up so it doesn't fall off like the last one did and we'll put it on the end of the trailer I'm thinking so that they don't roll back into each other. Kind of like when you're cooking sausages on a barbecue or in a frying pan, you want to like have them heaped against each other so that they don't uh, roll away. Uh, this is kind of hard to get off. Is it going to come off? Here we go. Uh, we can ratchet it down, I think. How do we, how do we ratchet it? Ah, oh, okay, ah. Uh, Go. Look at that! That's cool. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. About space for five um, bales. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's get back to it. Which one next? I guess we should do one right here. We'll put this at the other end just so we can have space in between them with uh, three others look at that, we'll do this all in first person uh, get it back on uh, here we go and down pull it back Ooh. pulling the trailer as well, why is that? Uh, why, oh, we caught, we caught the actual fork on the trailer, we'll lift it up and then we'll slide it off like so there we go. There we go, we'll tie this one down. Easy. God, farming is easy. Uh, not. So much work just to do this. Just, we have to spend so much money and spend so much time just to get these bales. And I'm not even sure how much they sell for. Hopefully it's enough to recuperate our costs. I like how we have a shadow so we can have depth perception as to where it is. There we go, that should be alright. Is it? Yes! It's a bit uh, lopsided on the other side. Can we push it back? No. We can ratchet it on. And that will be stable as rock. Rock's pretty stable. Uh, I've got two more now. It's looking pretty good. Alright. Here we are. And getting the hang of these controls now. And stab. There we go. Uh, don't want to fling it off. So let's go. Let's go pretty soft. Okay. We put it next to this one. And we want this more in the middle than the last one. Uh, down here. Go. Perfect. That was pretty clean, that one. Yeah, nice. Look at that. I mean, the, the not. I mean, if we actually tried with um, trying to upright them so they're on their flat instead of a curved side, then it might, we might be able to stack them on. But the baler that actually self writes them is very expensive. That's why I only got just the baler that spits them out the back. 
rolls than that. Uh, last one. And then we can go and see where to sell these. Okay. Here we go. And there we go, right in the middle. We've got heaps of space. Right in the middle. There we go. That's good. I'm pretty happy with that. There we go. Tie that one down. Oh, we can't. Uh, it's right. It's right in the middle. Okay, we'll have to move it over a bit to the left, or maybe to the right. Depends. We're in the middle. So just stab it. Stab it with a uh, bail fork, bail spike, and move it to the right. There we go. Oh, hit the trailer a bit. Here we go. There we go. Clean. And we can tie that down now. Brilliant. There it is. All done. All in the day's work. Pretty happy with that. We'll fold that back up so we don't stab anyone else. Find out where the most profitable area to sell bales are. Uh... We've got bales, uh, ooh, to the barn, or the biogas plant, uh, no, the barn. Um, hopefully it's not, we're not doing this, hopefully it's actually grass bales, because that's pretty pathetic, oh, oh no, have we done all that work for 67 per, per bale? I'm hoping not. I mean, I can't really see anything else that represent. This does look a little bit. We've got rolled up. It's rolled up like that, like a whatever cinnamon bun or whatever cinnamon roll. Yeah. So we'll do the barn, or we can just store them until the price is right. Um. We'll have a look how close the barn is. Uh, where is the map? I always. There we go. Barn is over there. Um, you know what, for today's work, I think, I'll have to attach this, I'll come and pick it back later, I think we are just going to store this, uh, we've got enough money, 17,000, we're not going to go into bankruptcy anytime soon, and I'll probably just speed up the game to like 5 speed, 20 speed, so the crops can grow, and we if, if we actually are looking like we might be in trouble. But yeah, I think next next time definitely will be uh, harvesting stuff that I've grown. I'll just do some some like work in between episodes just doing stuff. Um, look back at it in actually when, uh, this is this is right here, I guess, with the other stuff, so... Well, let's put it there. Ah, uh, there's the cedar there. If I just put it so, like... There we go. That, that is kind of out of the way of stuff. Um, I'm still in the way of stuff, but that's of no importance. I can get out of here. There we go. Uh, oh, what's this? I didn't know we had... Are these small seeds for fertilizer? I'm still finding stuff all the time around my farm. Uh, yeah. That was a pretty interesting episode. I've never actually done mowing before. So I've learned something. Hopefully you have. And you've enjoyed watching this. Uh, I'm gonna go park this up now. And that will be our... Well my recording time done for the day. I'll probably do some more work along the farm here. We'll just uh, out there. just doing dropping stuff off now. Um, bump. There we go. Put it down by the forklift one so we know where it is. In fact, so we do know where it is. Why don't we just Uh, there. 
Let me know where it is. Um, and I'll put this here. Oh, it actually has to be on the ground. Makes sense. There we go. Oh, this Massey Ferguson's a real workhorse, I tell ya. Uh, that can park up just here. Out of the rain. Perfect. Nice day's work. Yeah, so as I said, I'll probably do some work more, but some more work around the farm, just odd jobs and stuff. But yeah, next episode, hopefully, we'll be able to cultivate uh, that uh, soybean and the sugarcane. Because I've actually never done the sugarcane cultivation with uh, that. And I guess you. Where would you. Oh, I guess you would. Um, it would funnel up into this trailer, so you would have to have obviously the tractor pulling that. And then the tractor alongside pulling this. That would be interesting. I'll be up for that. I'll be keen as. And I've also got another f another field over there to cultivate. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that off camera. But yeah, that's cool. That's a that's a good episode of farming. I'm enjoying back into farming simulator. Well, as menial as it is, the tasks they are pretty cool. So I like learning about big equipment and all that processes. Pretty fun. But yeah. Um. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you later.